Welcome Hello. to Mulgrange Farm. A very rainy Mulgrange Farm. It hasn't stopped. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Roger. And I'm Angharad. And this week... We are taking you off farm to an event we attended where there were a thousand school children came to learn about agriculture. Teaching about food and farming. Pembrokeshire Food Story. Today I'm down in the county showground in an event called Food Story, which is an incredible event in Pembrokeshire organised by a fantastic group of volunteers to teach children all about food and farming, where the food comes from. So I've got a little stand here, as you can see, um, representing the gelato, the ice cream that we make and sell on the farm. Um, and also talking about where the milk comes from, teaching children about the cows, how often they milk, different, different stuff like that. So over the two days we're here, Wednesday and Thursday, there's a thousand Pembrokeshire school children coming. I think this is an incredible event that would be amazing if more counties did it. So um, I'll just show you quickly around now the different things that are here and what they learn at this food story event in Pembrokeshire on the Pembrokeshire County Showground. The theme of the event this year was pancakes because it was February Shrove Tuesday so the children could link it back to the food that are used to produce pancakes. So I was there representing our gelato, the ice cream, as a topping. So I was teaching the children how gelato is made, showing them all the ingredients. They had to guess what everything was. They could feel the different sugars, the different ingredients, and then match it up. And then they had a chance to sample the base mix which is used before it goes into the batch freezer to churn the gelato. And then they could taste the gelato right at the end when they made their pancakes as a topping. So it was a nice circular theme. Next door to us, keeping the dairy theme, were Golden Hooves Cheese. Now these are a sub-branch of First Milk, where our milk actually goes to as well. They produce award-winning cheddar cheese and it's regenerative as well. So the children had a chance to watch a video, see how cheese is produced from the milk from the cows and a chance to taste it as well. Next up was the butter station. Now there's a butter churn. Children learned how butter is produced from just double cream. There was a little mini churn there that they could turn. And also they all got a jam jar each full of cream that they could shake on their way around. And by the time it came to make their pancakes, they had their butter ready-made. And then representing the milk was a farm just down the road from us, Sunny Hill Farm Dairy. They were there teaching the children how they milk the cows, look after the cows, and how the cows produce milk from grass. And also, of course, they had a chance to taste it as well. And then we move on to the animals. Hi, I'm uh, Carwin, so we brought some calves on here um, from Agusoro, uh, just to show the kids uh, what they look like when they're smaller before they grow up to be cows and uh, produce milk for us. Eh? It's quite rewarding because uh, you see uh, grins on the faces and stuff. We're quite lucky we're used to it because uh, we've been brought up on farms, but some of these have settled to the farm before, so uh, no, they're loving it, too. Nice. Hi, I'm Joy. I'm a dairy farmer. So this stands a bit more practical. We've got the kids coming in to see this lovely little calf, very well behaved little calf. The calf's got a coat on, so the kids have been, you know, commenting on that. And then we've had children like hands-on stuff. Bed in the sheds down with the straw. Um, they've been filling this bucket up with milk to three litres. So it's good for them to work that out. We've been asking them what animals need to be cared for and what they do for their pets at home. So food, water, um, shelter, a good um, place to live. So they've been doing all that. And then we come over and they put their hands in, they get involved. You know, it's nice them to feel things. So they got all the nice um, cake here, nuts, and then we get them to weigh out because um, Tanya here, the calf, Tanya the calf, um, eats two kilos of this, so we get them to weigh out two kilos, and that's been interesting because some children are like, What's two kilos? or weigh in. A lot of them know about cooking, but even some of them, uh, you know, it's, it's new to them all, so that's been really good for them to work out and, the, and, and weigh that out, and then they feed that the animals. And just for them to know that we all care for animals. Um, in such a way and they've been they love the hands-on approach so happy days happy animals happy farmers okay. and then hannah and harry are here with their sheep hello hello okay so we bought some sheep these are our pedigree dutch spotted lambs and we also have a, a ram which is a dutch spotted ram and what have you been teaching the kids so we've been teaching them all about sheep so questions from about the wool and the nutrition side of things and just about lambing and we just let them ask any question they want just to try and teach them about everything to do with sheep and they enjoying it they're loving it they're absolutely loving it and it's been some really really good questions 
some really hard questions that I didn't think actually the children would know, but yeah, it's been really good. Nice, nice work. Sharing the farming story. Hiya, I'm Arled. I'm a pig farmer and I've been here teaching these kids of Pembroke all about raising pigs and what we do on our farm. So what have you brought? We've got two uh, pigs here. They're uh, two boar pigs, Saddleback Cross Welsh. What did you actually teach the children? What were they asking? What were you telling them? So teaching them more about um, the names for females and males, so sows and boars. Um, how many li how many piglets a sow might have in a litter, uh, how long they live for and what they might eat and where they live and how we look after them. And of course the important side which is it's not all about meat but that pigs actually supply so many other things to go into everyday life such as use of the hair and their blood and bones to go into like glues and gelatin and paintbrushes and all that sort of stuff. Good, good stuff. Where's coming? It's been very interesting. <laughs> Who played the teachers? <laughs> hey Claire! Hello. You okay? Hello, how are you? So what have you got here? We've got eggs um, from our farm at Fenton. We've got 64,000 free range hens and we've been busy telling the children this morning the whole egg story. And uh, we've also got our two girls this morning and one, la one laid an egg for us, so which is very exciting for the children. Yeah. And for people that don't like eggs, we've also got what other products eggs are in. So when children don't think they actually eat eggs, um, they are eating them in other products. Amazing. Have the children enjoyed? They've had an excellent morning. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. <laughs> so Tally's a Amos Grouper here as well. Hi. Hello. Hello. Are you okay, boys? Uh, yeah, good. How you doing? Good. Good, thank you. So what are you doing here today? Uh, so we're teaching the kids uh, about what farmers use tractors for, uh, what they can do with the tractors, uh, how mechanisation has helped farmers, um, and like how technology like auto steer then, and the guidance makes um, the tractor's more productive and helps farmers get on with their jobs and save them time, save them fuel. Um, yeah, so again. Nice. And I teach them about John Deere. Good. And have they, do they have they enjoyed on the stand? Yeah, I think so, definitely. They've taken something away from it. We've got a nice little video of autonomous tractor and yeah, they seem to take something away from it, definitely. And it's nice that they can see a real life tractor as well. Yes, yeah, see, what, they love that. see what farming's all about. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm Ros Llewellyn, um, arable farmer from Dunstan Schmalls. We've today been showing the children all about the wheat story. So we start, start off with preparing the soil, getting that ready, using cultivators, machinery, and we explain about that going through the process of growing the wheat. Here's a tray of wheat that we dug out from the field at the weekend. So it looks a little bit more like grass to the children, but we're taking this through, explaining to them how we fertilizer on, plant protection products on, to keep the plants healthy and grow big and strong. Then here is the drill. This is part of the process, putting the seeds into the ground. Then this is the fertilizer spreader, applying the, the nutrients, calcium, nitrogen, potassium that it needs. That's what put, puts it on the, on the field. Through to harvest time, and then we've obviously got the big machine, the combine, what the children all love to see. Taking it in through to the mouth of the combine, explaining about the drum and the, the operations within the combine. Um, here we've got sheaves of wheat, and the children have been taking this, breaking it down to find the wheat seeds left behind. You can see just a couple in there. So, the children's been doing that, taking those seeds then through to grinding around the back um, so they can see how that makes our flour and put the wheat seeds into here, ground it down and then they they, they made all this this afternoon. The flour. So yeah. That's we've, amazing. We've got, we've got the flour coming out which they then recognise as flour with baking with, with nanny or mum back home. From that then we're then talking about what they can use that flour for. So we've had a lucky dip for the children. They've been sticking their hands in, having lots of fun, getting right in. We've hidden all these things in here. This is a, a tub of barley. We've got a tub of wheat behind. Um, so we've had some hula hoops, pastries. I hidden the turkey and some animals in there and asked the children, why would that be in a tub of barley and an egg? Some of the children made the connection that the chickens that made the egg would have eaten the barley and the wheat to start, for, start with. It's all about just bringing that chain and showing how farming is a real cyclical process. Um, dog treats. 
Did you know wheat is in dog treats, cat biscuits, even there's some, there's some malt barley in a tin of soup. So a lot of the products that we are growing in this county are being used in so many different ways. Sometimes it even surprise me as an Arab farmer. I'm Stuart and we, we, I've been working with Roger and we've been trying to make a link between the consumers uh, the farmers and wildlife and showing that they all need each other uh, together so uh, really this shouldn't be too much conflict so on the wall we've got what we were trying the message we were trying to get across to the children so from the farmers point of view good really. also get the Air agricultural college were there teaching about water quality and the research that they do and also there was a stand on the pancake toppings the fruit that we put on top of our pancakes lemons apricots strawberries how these are actually grown and how they end up on the shop shelves well, we've just been talking to the children really about how much they know about bees and obviously did they know what how important bees are for the environment especially the pollination side of it and honey and obviously they know all about the sting, sting inside of it. So really we wanted to know what they do actually know about bees. And making that link then between Make, the yeah. bees and the actual honey that they eat. Yeah, and tasting it and realising that that's what they've been eating with their pancakes that some of them have had today. Perfect, so a good two days. Lovely Excellent. two days, yeah. Okay. So Castor Howell have been here as well. So what have you been doing? Uh, we've been making pancakes today for children that have come all across Pembrokeshire. I think we've done over a thousand pancakes in the last two days. Um, so it's been really successful. Edward's been doing a demo with them and um, with all the ingredients and learning where milk comes from, butter and flour, etc. And they've all had a chance to taste them. Yes, they've had some toppings. They've had some Fife Paselli gelato on top. I do know that. Uh, they've had a few toppings like caramel sauce, uh, chocolate sauce and so forth and fruit and veg. Not veg. <laughs> no, that's all, no, that's all. Local honey as well. Look nice. Has it been good? Yes, really good. Kids have really enjoyed. Lots of good feedback from the teachers saying they could be here a bit longer if possible. Um, but it's obviously hard to have 10 minutes on each station. And it's really nice to create that link between farming as well and the schools. So this is Cathy. Cathy has organised the whole thing. She's done it many times by now. How's it gone? It's gone really well, yes. I've had help from the organising. It's not just me, but I seem to be the bossy one that gets everybody in their place. No, you're no, it's gone really well. Lots of help, lots of volunteers, lots of people giving up their time. Lots of learning going on, lots of interactive stuff. Um, I think the children have all really enjoyed it. Lots of positives from the teaching staff. Um, it's gone great. Are you going to do it again? Well, lots of people have asked and I've said, yeah. Perfect, we've got to do it again. It's been as long amazing. As we've got the help. We, need, we can't do it without the farmers. We've got to have the farmers. So as long as they can give up their time, we can do it again. Thank you so much for all your work. It's really, really valuable. Thanks, Cathy. There were many other stands and farmers and volunteers that I didn't manage to get round to filming. Everyone playing their part to bring the farming story alive. So I'm all packed up now, ready to go home after two full days in the county showground. Um, just teaching over a thousand children about food and farming. It's been amazing to be a small part of it. My main aim was to that all of them knew that milk was the main ingredient in ice cream, gelato, and also that milk comes from a cow. And to know that a thousand children have learned that, if they've picked up something from each of the little stands, I just think it's incredible that they learn the basics of where their food comes from and making that link with agriculture, knowing how important farming is for everyday life really. And I just feel very proud to be part of this wonderful agricultural industry um, in Pembrokeshire and Wales and beyond. Here we are, thanks for watching this week. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Yeah, we have a new video out every Tuesday at around 5 p.m. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Muscle McGavs. And we'll see you next, next week. week. Next Tuesday, 5 pm. Ish. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Ta -da. Ta -da.